hello, hello everyone. Good morning. I have had some sleep and the sleep deprivation has definitely gone and I'm ready and raring to go for another busy day of lambing. So we're going to start with a little bit of an update and what kind of stuff we're going to be up to today. Right, so we have had a busy night in the lambing shed. Absolutely every pen is full and we need to get this sorted. So guys, really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do, please tap that like button, subscribe to the channel, and once again, I hope you enjoy. We have an escapee. I'm guessing you're Mrs. Triplet's little one. You got a full belly though, so that's all good in there. So we have already been up a couple of hours, guys. We have fed, we have bedded, and we are raring to go. So as you can see, absolutely every pen in here is full. We had seven lamb last night. Quick update on Caesar lamb, as I know you all love the Caesar. So he is in here. They're all pretty sleepy because they've all been fed and just lay back down. She is a bit quiet, so we're just going to give her another jag of antibiotics today and see how she is. Hopefully she picks up the cade that made itself a cade. We've bottled it and fingers crossed we get a single at some point that we can chuck it onto. Apart from that, as we walk down the rows, these were all the freshly born lambs this morning and last night. So all looking wonderful. A lot of Abba Black, so this is an Abba Black. Really nice, strong lamb, as well as its brother down there. But what we're going to do now is we have no space. So, answer to that, we numbered and tagged a few of the ewes yesterday. So, first job of the day, now that we've got everything sorted, these lambs are going to go outside on some fresh grass. So, we're going to take six of them, I think, and then we're going to get some more tagged and tailed, etc., and they might go out early in the afternoon we'll see how we get on so just had a single born i don't have a pen for it so need to work fairly quick james is going to be here in about 10 minutes so he's going to get pens mucked out while i get those sheep taken to the field so james is back for another busy day of lambing but before we get these lambs outside i forgot which would have been an absolute disaster we need to upload all of the lambs onto Flockwatch. Right, so we've got James with the True Test EID scanner. So this is what we use on the farm. And I have the Flockwatch app, which I'm going to put on screen now. So basically, you should now see the Flockwatch app on the screen somewhere. And I'm going to talk you through it. So first of all, you press the orange button, like I always say. Then we go lambing record. Fairly simple now. If James scans the use, the yellow tag over there. That's it, 775. The U is number 775. So that goes onto the system as a U. And the lambing number is obviously number one. As you can see on the side of the U, it's number one. The date the lamb was born was actually the sixth. Fairly simple. The sire was Abba Black. Breathing, so we'll just go Abba Black there. And then we go to next which we're then onto the lambs. So it automatically knows how many lambs the ewe's gonna have. Uh, we go on gender, which I think it's a tup. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a tup, so we'll just do that. And then we scroll down, we have all of that stuff, lamb vigor, all great. Then once we've put its mail, we scan its ear tag. So we just scan, so James, you scan the tag like that. And then on the screen, you can say, yes, do you want to insert? That's really easy. You press save and that is the lambing record done. So it's really simple on Flockwatch. And now we can record all of our lambs as well as all the used records for its whole life. Right, so that is those six shoes all inputted, really simple. I would definitely recommend the Flockwatch app Right, it's made life a lot simpler here on the farm and you can keep records of absolutely everything. So what we do now, we'll go and get the trailer, back it up to the door and we'll get all these girls loaded. Mm -hmm. 
So we have just set the trailer up. So we've put lambs at the front so they can't get bashed. All the lambs in there, I think yous are going to go in the back of the trailer. Right, so that is the lambs all loaded. I've just put that top deck down at the front so that the ewes can't jump in and crush them. We'll get the ewes now and then get them ready to chew. All loaded and ready to go. We have the lambs all here. Use them. Hello, girls. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I mean, there you go. <laughs> that is them all dropped off. I'm just going to stay here to make sure they all mother up well. The thing that we are doing this year, we're pulling a few lambs and you, sorry, using lambs straight out. We would usually put them in a nursery pen. But it's because the weather is so good. It's been above 10 degrees every day. It's dry and they're much better outside. At the end of the day, they're sheep. They're designed to be outside. So that is the thought. What the plan is though going forward, there's a field over there, obviously gateway. We're gonna drop sheep off in that field for a few hours, maybe a bit more, a few hours, get them to mother up. Then we'll push them through into this bigger field where there'll be a lot more ewes and lambs here. So that is the plan going forward. <laughs> What a great sight. They're all mothered up with their mums, so I'm happy. And we're gonna get back to the shed now. We are back at the farm. James is just mucking out some individual pens for me, being an absolute legend, because you usually have to do all this by myself. But yeah, he is smashing that out. And then what my plan is now, I'm gonna give all the ewes a mineral drench pretty much on these two rows because we were flying yesterday and I didn't get a chance to do it. AKA someone forgot to do them. So that is what we're gonna do now. So as I said before earlier in the lambing videos, every ewe this year is getting a mineral drench which is called Overboost from Osmond's and this ensures that all the ewes can have the minerals that they need and a balanced amount of minerals within their body. So this is basically a liquid which is made out of molasses and a couple of other things and just full of every mineral that the ewe requires. And they just get one little squeeze on the drench and she just gets seven and a half mil. Quick and easy drench, she's done. Righto, so that is all the used mineral drench. James is nearly finished um, bedding the pens up that he was mocking out. But before we do that, as you can see, one of the use we numbered up yesterday, number two, which in fact is the teardrop plan for all that you've been watching along. She is still a bit mastitic in her bag, so we're gonna just tube her. I thought it'd be quite interesting because it's something that a lot of people won't see with sheep, but it's quite common practice with cows. So if I just pass you over to James. Right, now we've got her flipped over. I actually showed you all this the other day, but as you can see, this is the side of her bag that is fine, and that's milking, if you can see. Then this side is rock hard. So you can see the difference there. That's normal bag. That is an infected bag with mastitis. If I try and do that, it's painful for her. So what I'm going to do, I've got a tube of what we call Singulox, which is a pretty powerful antibiotic. And we're going to inject this, well, tube this, down her teat canal into her bag, as that is probably the best way of getting that infection down. So it looks like this. It's a little plastic tube, and all the antibiotic is in here. So all we do is... Basically, calm girl, calm girl. That's the teat. Then this little nozzle goes down the teat canal, just like this. You don't want to push too hard and cause any damage, so it's slowly. So that's down there now. Then all we do is push that in there, just like so. Then you hold it and you kind of try and work it into the bag, just like that. Else it'll just come all straight back out the teat. <laughs> It's slightly painful for her, but it's the best form of curing that bag. Yeah, that is that done. So that is her tube. I'm actually gonna give her some other cream in a minute, which is just standard practice. It's just a little bit of cream on there, which cools the bag down. But yeah, I'm gonna keep an on her again, 
keep an eye on airdrop saying that he's got a nice full belly so there's plenty of milk in that side but just yeah keep monitoring it fresh single so we go from tubing to milking a ewe so basically this ewe she's got quite a lot of milk on and her nipples are quite big so what we do is just milk some of the milk out it'll make a bag a lot less swelled up but it's a lot easier for lambs so as i'm here steal some colostrum for some more lambs as she's got plenty of milk good girl but by doing this the nipples will become smaller so it's easy for her lambs to suckle too you set a little bit on the end so that's like the wax that's come off you see yeah. so i've stolen some colostrum from her but also you can see those nipples are nowhere near as like perky they'll be a lot easier to suckle from and there's plenty of milk now for you lambs so we are thinking on our feet now we have a single lamb in we have henry here we all remember henry his girlfriend over there meg and we are going to do a wet adoption so what henry's going to do is just hold this lamb if you remember the triplet that basically got itself chucked off its mum over there and then we're going to sort the ewe out we'll explain as we go on but for now we'll catch the ewe llama you'll see how it works I know it's not nice. But... Well, she's accepted the second lamb that we have adopted onto her, and now she's killing the first one. So, what we'll do, we'll leave her to it, and fingers crossed, she's taken to both. At the moment, she has, but you never know with sheep. Sometimes. In an hour, she'll just decide she don't like it. So let's see. Right, so we are back down at the use that we let off because let off, let out because I have some more use that are going out. And I've got a special helper with me today. We've got Henry once again, as I said earlier, while his girlfriend Meg and James are back at the farm. So these girls come out. And then we're going to let the lammies out from the side door. Figure themselves out, hopefully. Done. That'll be alright. Right, so we've given them a couple of minutes and they're all coupled up or singled up, whichever they are. So, as you can see, number 10's with the mom. Some of them just have a number on one side. So, if it looks like they haven't got a number, it's because it's just on one side. But yeah, all coupled up nicely. There's 10 pairs of lambs, so singles in the field now. So, we're going to get back and get feeding because. Today is soon going on. Uh, one leg, two legs, yep. Yeah, now let's put, get them in both your hands and pull. Don't pull too hard. Just let pull as she pushes. That's it. Then if you put your hand in, can you feel it, the head just above them? Yep. Yeah, if you pull now then, and pull downwards. That's it, and they'll come as she pushes. That's it. That's it. Good man. Good boy. That's it. Good girl. Very good girl. We are back for the final summary of the day and today has definitely been a busy one and a lot going on. So we've got the first lambs outside. We've got 10 ewes and lambs outside and that isn't even the start of it. I think now, keeping records here of what's being born each day, all the pens are full. We've had to make extra pens. We've got three extra pens there. So there's now 33 pens are used that have been lambed. There's just been another single born. 
that's going to fill up that last pen. It is what, three o'clock in the morning, so I'm off to bed for a couple of hours again after that, and fingers crossed nothing lands before morning because we need to get more used lambs out before that. But just looking along here, we got some cracking lambs. Now we have got all three triplets born already. They have now been adopted on. I don't know whether I filmed, I'm not, I can't remember what I filmed and what I haven't. It's been a little bit of a hectic day. And I think we've had like 20, 20 plus views have lambs today, which for some people, I know it's not that busy, but for us, that is quite busy. So, Yes, all the number dues out, and we'll just go on for a quick look down the pens, just to see how they're all looking. Plenty of healthy twins, and once again, an update on everyone's favourite you and lamb, Caesar. You there, lamb is chilling under the heat lamp. These are just adopted lambs. Look at the teeny one. That is actually the lamb she had. That's the adopted lamb. Oh. But well guys, massive thank you for the support on this series. Apologies if I don't get back to the comments straight away. It is absolutely hectic here and it's quite a lot just getting these videos out daily. So massive thank you for support from everyone. Really appreciate it. Lambing is definitely a go now. We've had about 45 years lamb. Just another 100 to go. Sorry, just another 200 to go. So thank you for watching guys. Really appreciate it. If you haven't already, please tap that like button think about subscribing to the channel because I really appreciate that too. And once again, I'll see you in the morning. Well, I'll see you later this morning.